is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video we're going to be talking about the potential chance of one of our big three characters from the scream series uh those three characters we all know and love sydney dewey and gail weathers are going to be talking about the potential chance of one of them dying now already out of the gate you can you guys can just scratch sydney off of that list sydney prescott uh she sh <sighs> As much as I, I, I personally myself wouldn't mind seeing the character of Sidney Prescott die, however, I feel like the character has been just so embedded in the in the uh, in the series. She's been the staple of the series, and if we're honestly thinking about what happened when Halloween Resurrection tried to kill off uh, a main star, when they killed off Laurie Strode at the beginning of Halloween Resurrection, and then that movie didn't turn out to be that all that all that good at all. Um, the character of Sydney Prescott, she is like the heart and soul of Scream. And while I wouldn't necessarily mind her being killed off in a way that is fitting and uh, pays respect to the character, there's like several other reasons that go against her dying. So for instance, her dying goes against the whole idea of her overcoming everything that's coming her way. Uh, it goes against the original it goes against Wes Craven's vision in a way too as well because like I made mention of I don't know if I made mention of this in any other previous video but Wes Craven um I recently had this I, I learned this from a friend of mine I did some research on it Wes Craven always regretted killing the character of Nancy from Nightmare on Elm Street in part three Dream Warriors uh he always regretted doing that and I feel like with his continual survival with sydney that's kind of his way of always living up to that uh living up to what he should have done with nancy i feel like sydney is what Wes craven feels he should have done with nancy nancy uh to this when when he was around he always regretted killing nancy in the original uh third film for nightmare on elm street now in regards to another reason why sydney can't die if sydney dies there's really nobody for us left to be with other than Dewey and Gale. And sure, Dewey and Gale are interesting characters and we all love them since they've been here from the start with Sydney, but Sydney is the meat and bones of this series. She is the reason that most people continue to return to theaters to go see a screen movie. Uh, Sydney is our main character. She's the heart and soul of this franchise. It's not like each, each time we get a new screen film, we get the same characters. The only same characters we get or that we have been getting are Sydney, Dewey, and Gale. Each screen film, we have a new supporting cast. We have new characters. We have all these new things outside of those main three. So if you're going to kill them off, you better be having, um, if you, if you're going to, especially killing off Sydney, if you're going to kill off Sydney, you better have something stored in regards to one of these supporting characters being a well-written character, somebody from the past that the audience has already gotten behind <coughs> Kirby, um, or somebody who is just somebody who you re really can tell they can carry the franchise. And at this point in the game, Sydney's been here for far too long for anyone else to even carry the franchise. The franchise, first of all, should not even go beyond a, f a fifth film or even a sixth movie. It should not spawn into a next gen of screen films whatsoever. I am not a not a fan of that i want this series to end um and in my honest opinion it should have been left alone with part three uh after part three anyway should have been left alone um but getting into who i think ghostface is going to be going after and really honestly because it's it's time for one of them to die it's not going to be sydney it's going to be gail or dewey and in my honest opinion it's time for dewey to die dewey has had far too many close calls he it's like a running gag in the series. He's had a close call in the first film. He's had a close call in the second film. We've, we've actually thought he died in the first and the second movie only to find out that he survived uh, in both films. In the third movie, he gets a, he gets a knife thrown at his head and the whole shot is, is intentionally done in a way to tease fans that this is when Dewey's finally going to get it and nothing hits him but the butt of the knife and then that's supposed to be like a comical moment because then he just rolls down the stairs and then in Scream 4 he gets beaten with a pan in the hospital with with Jill. Um, Dewey has had far too many close calls. Uh, the running gag of him being like the useless cop who is up, who is useless, who basically has no purpose and then on top of that i feel like another running gag in screen four was the fact that this useless cop was now sheriff of woodsboro i feel like that was supposed to be like a hidden joke that me, many people overlooked uh but his character needs if you're gonna kill one of these three characters i feel like it needs to be the character of dewey dewey has uh 
as a character he's i feel like out of the three he's the most forgettable he's like a big brother to sydney because another like i made mention of if you're going to be killing anybody it can't be sydney sydney can't die but sydney can lose something that's important to her she can lose somebody who's been with her from the beginning somebody that she's uh, gone to all the time for for any type of help when it comes to these ghost face killing sprees uh and the way Dewey or the way Sydney relies on Dewey, I feel like that would be a very heartbreaking thing for her to deal with and come to grips with. And it would just be another thing to add on to that layer of Sydney Prescott, another thing for her to come overcome and grow from and just come and overcome all her obstacles in life. That's what the whole series of Scream is, Sydney Prescott and all these things that are in her way. And she's over overcome all of them. Uh, adding Dewey to that, the death of Dewey, I feel like would be something that would really be heart heartbreaking with to Sydney. Uh, but at the same time, we're now getting rid of somebody who has been like a life support for her. Uh, I feel like if you kill off Dewey and you kind of leave Sydney alone with Gail, then I feel like you you kind of make the audience say that Sydney's at a greater risk of dying, even though she's not going to die. Of course, killing off Dewey over Gail, I feel like it's going to be more life threatening and get the audience thinking that hey, Sydney doesn't have her her uh her knight because i feel like that's what dewey kind of is in the series he's like sydney's knight uh her older brother slash her knight and i feel like if she were to lose dewey she's gonna appear more more vulnerable on screen because with gail those two i feel like they're not in a feud anymore but then there's always that chance of gail turning her back on sydney with dewey we never got that so if she just left alone with gail i feel like that's that's why i'm thinking killing off dewey would tell a better story than uh killing off gail uh and you can't kill off sydney again as i made mention of because sydney is the lifeline of the franchise uh, all you need to do with Sydney is just keep throwing obstacles her way. Again, there's more cons than pros to her being killed off. I mean, I would love to see her die in a heroic way, but there's not enough. There's there's way too many things that go against her dying that would harm the franchise that I don't see anyone in this series really picking up on. That void that Sydney's going to leave, That's I don't feel like anyone else is going to fill that void at this point in time in the franchise because we've gotten too many sequels where she's overcome ghostface so just might as well keep it going um and then getting into something else with dewey dewey's character it basically has run its course in my opinion the character of dewey i feel like dewey is there for nothing more than to just uh be a protector of sydney and just kind of be be that lovable goofy cop that blends blends the line between this guy's an idiot and okay this guy has some potential he's pretty cool he's acceptable he's not he's not a complete loser like how the spoof of scream is in scary movie his spoof doofy that's exactly what dewey would be like if dewey had overgone that that boundary of this guy's an idiot and this guy's this guy's not that cool he's just an idiot <laughs> um I don't think that Dewey dying is going to really be that much of a detriment to the franchise opposed to Gale or Sydney dying. I feel like Gale as a character is more important to the story than Dewey. Um, and and just, just for the simple fact that with horror, um, it, with the franchise of Scream, I feel like Sydney sydney needs to lose something that matters most to her at this stage in the game she's already lost her mother several years back and i feel like she's already lost several friends along the way uh she lost relatives i feel like the one final thing she could lose that would be very heartbreaking to her would be losing dewey to ghostface if ghostface somehow managed to finally kill dewey and he didn't overcome it somehow because that's all they ever do with dewey he's just always surviving and i feel like at this point in the game it's time for him to stop surviving um dewey could be the opening kill for scream 5 dewey could not even in, not even be the opening kill because in my scream 5 i still would like to have kirby reed's mother be the opening kill uh, but it's time for one of our main stars to die and i feel like that character needs to be dewey let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below what do you think about the character of dewey dying do you think that all three of them should live again if all three of them live again i'm fine with that as well but at this point i don't think the series itself scream hasn't taken any chances since the opening kill of drew barrymore from the first film and then the death of randy in scream 2 i feel like the series has played it very safe since then uh, but let me know what you guys think about all that down in the comment section below 
If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video. And then stay tuned because um, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have another Jeepers Creepers video out tomorrow. But yep, with all that in mind, guys, for now, I will see you in the next video.